Hey guys, the Cute Dude here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle. So I have not made an unboxing or an order this big in about, I'd say over a year, and I thought I actually shipped it to my house, so I was not expecting it to appear at my dorm. And here are a bunch of awesome puzzles. And so that's it. The rest is bubble wrap. And so this is my biggest order I've made in a long time. So let's just quickly get into all these. Alright, so I've taken all of them out of the packaging. I've not turned any of them. This is exactly how they came out, out of the box. As you can see, they turned just a bit and that already fell. Luckily it did not break. But let's just do first turns on all of them. I guess I'll start with in the back row and make my way forward. Like that. So this is the X cube and turns pretty nice. At first these a little harder to turn. It's not hard at all but it's a little more sluggish. Kind of catching a little bit. And the piece popped. Which one was that? Okay. That piece popped. Not sure if that will be a regular thing. But there's the X. And here we have the trio. So you can see trio because it only has three. The other corners not uh, extended. So the exact same it's catching. Here we have the temple cube because I guess when it's like flat, it looks like a temple, and the bottom doesn't have any extensions. I can tell these are these might be a little annoying to solve because they might start catching. Here we have the AYI 4x4x3. That's really nice. That's really smooth. Dang. Now recently the 5x5x4 by AYI have, has uh, slowly become one of my favorite puzzles. So I really like AYI puzzles. And here we have the 2x3x4. My second one of these. This one is fully functional though. I believe. The inner layers turn nice at first. The outer layers seem like they're going to start catching. It's kind of like bumpy, but let's see. Can the shape shift? This definitely can shape shift. I'm just kind of forgetting how. There, okay. I think I'll just try and, I'll scramble it later, but I'll scramble the whole entire cube first, then I'll start shape shifting. Then, 3 by 3 by 5 just a normal one. Let's move this camera out a tiny bit. So this is just normal. I guess it's just like the other ones. Pretty cool you can see the mechanism there with the colors. I got all the sticker lists because I did not have to worry about the stickers when need be. Here we have the eye. It's just a uh, three by three by five, like without well, it's like a three by three by four sort of, but it's just an extension. So that happens. It's really nice. The extension is a lot better than the other ones. Mainly because you can't really catch on anything else. And here we have the cross cube, which is pretty much all of them together. So every side is, is extended. And I know I ordered a Mosey extended 3x3 a long time ago. And that by Mosey is not, is not this. And another piece popped. I guess that might be a regular thing. But the one by Mosey is actually... That's weird. Okay. The one by Mosey is actually just a 3 by 3 mod, just they glued pieces to it to look like this. Here we have the L. Pretty stiff. And then here we have the T. Because it looks like a T. So these all look, they all seem like pretty fun puzzles. I'm going to have to scramble all of them and solve all of them. Anyways, uh, I'll be back after all of these have been scrambled, solved a bunch of times, and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Alright, so I'm back. It's been a day, and I've solved all of these except for the 2x3x4, which I guess it still does bandage. 
I thought when it said fully functional, it meant it would not bandage. So I will have to look up a tutorial on that. And also on the temple one, uh, the green cord, something was wrong with it. I tried putting it back together like four times and it kept having these huge pops, so I just decided to leave it. I contacted the cubicle, and sorry for the bad lighting, but there's not lots of sun in Washington. So I'm turning the brightness up on my phone, but contacted them about uh, this other piece on the L. The corner broke, I was still able to solve it. Functions just fine without the corner, but on this, I cannot solve it without a new core or just a whole new puzzle, which would result in uh, me solving that, which would be awesome. So all of these were really fun to solve. I was able to figure out all of them on my, on my own using some, uh, some things I know from other cuboids. And that's pretty much why I got all these, because I really do love cuboids. Uh, and especially, not like the like huge ones like 6x7x8 or any of the Trifum ones, which, by the way, are really expensive, but I do love all these puzzles. The only problem is that, just like the Diane Wheel of Wisdom, this locks up a lot, and it gets really frustrating. And these turn just fine, but then, let's see, I like that, it locks up a lot, and then sometimes you have to like make it flat, and it just gets really annoying, but they're really fun to solve. Just like I really do enjoy the Diana Wheel of Wisdom, even though it's very annoying with little triangle pieces. But all these are really fun. The most fun one, in my opinion, was uh, the cross, which I think moves the best out of any of them. And the only problem, uh, there's something just a little off topic. If you get stickerless, it's actually a tiny bit more of a challenge because you have to solve like this inner cube on all of them. So on this, I don't know if this would be stickered or not on a black one, but you have to solve the inner cubes first. As you can see, like, on the cross one, you'd have to solve uh, that little blue and white part in the middle. Let's see if I can zoom in. In between these two edges, so you can, right in the middle of the screen right there, you'd have to solve the inner cube. And same with the Diane Wheel of Wisdom, you have to do that as well, which makes it a tiny bit more challenging when you get stickerless, which I highly recommend all of you guys get to get the sticker list if you guys do end up getting the whole entire set but all these are very fun other than the lockups I highly recommend this puzzle there are all these puzzles except for uh, this one kind of annoying if you can get it to the point where it's not bandaged bandaged at all I'm pretty sure it'd be really fun and if you get a temple cube that does not break I'm pretty sure that would be fun but thank you so much the cubicle you guys are awesome this will probably be out after the contest because I need the contest out before Saturday so anyways, uh, go enter my contest because it's out by the time I'm uploading this video. And also go buy from thecubicle.us, they have great prices, great shipping, I think over $10, it's free 3 to 5 day shipping, and then over, I want to say 25 or 50 you get free 1 to 3 day shipping. So this was really fast. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing from thecubicle.us. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the letter world winners. This video's letters are BBB. Read the description if you are confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.